Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about trading for Narset back. I got two Narset regular ones, a foil Narset, a Sarkon Unbroken, and a foil Sarkon Unbroken. Uh, cards that I love to play with. I'm going to put them all in a five color planeswalker deck which i'll have the deck tech probably today actually i actually have two different deck techs i've been play testing a lot uh, game day as well as pre-release days i kind of go a little crazy i do love i absolutely love the those times because you get to play with friends uh you get to game days on saturday sunday so that means i can travel to places that i want to go to as opposed to fnm which is friday Friday, I kind of have to play at one of my locals because it's close to work and my other locals is so far away from work and traffic is so bad I can't get there. But I want to show you guys these uh, very beautiful cards and with the idea of how to trade for them and when to trade for them. So obviously I traded away a few Narsets including a foil Narset. I traded away a few Sawcon Unbrokens as well when they were at the height. Narset is $35 regular. She's not a $50 Planeswalker anymore. Her foil is, I believe, $70. It's gone down some. But if you look at Sawcon, not this particular one, but Sawcon Dragon Speaker, his foil is a whopping $18 right now. Yes, $18 on Star City Games. That's where I expect these cards to be. But now you guys might ask, why are you picking them up? Well, because I need to make that five color Planeswalker deck. Uh, to me, the value of the cards is how often you use them and how much entertainment you get from them. So I don't view cards as money or speculation. I view them as, okay, I need these cards to make this fun deck so I can play this fun, this fun deck with my friends and have a good time. And a lot of times I have, as you're going to see from this week, I have two decks. I have my Planeswalker deck, which has, I believe, Sawcon Unbroken, but I haven't put the Narsets in yet. And then I have my more aggressive tournament deck. The Planeswalker, five color Planeswalker is a fun casual deck. It's a lot of fun and I needed these particular pieces. Were they expensive to trade for? Yes. Uh, what did I trade for them? Uh, foil Restoration Angel. I believe I had a foil, like a lot of really good EDH foil angels. Uh, the guy was an angel collector. And yeah, that's what we traded for. I needed these cards. I didn't really need those cards. He did give me a premium. So overall, these five cards, I want to say didn't cost me. I mean, I was very comfortable with what I needed to trade in to get these cards. And I played the deck and it is amazingly fun. I mean, essentially you just play Planeswalkers and then you play Removal. Then you play some more Planeswalkers and that's how you win. But I did need the Narsets. I did need the Sarkon Unbroken. I do have regular Sarkon. I do have Ugin. I'm going to do kind of a new type of deck tech. I'm going to have two deck techs today. I'm going to have one that is like me making normal video shooting deck tech. And then one of screen capture shots because I don't know which one's better. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.